is Brian Kefa Onyango and uh, I am now 17 years old and I'm happy to join the National Youth Orchestra. I'm Paul, I play tuba for the Kenya National Youth Orchestra. I also play trombone and euphonium. I recently finished high school last year. Um, I'm Ata Madate. I was born in Nairobi, but I've traveled around. I used to live in Nigeria once, because my dad works for the foreign affairs. Okay, I'm Koti Mwanzea. Well, yes, that's my name. Well, in total, in full, I'm George Koti Mwanzea, but I kind of like, you know, keep the Koti Mwanzea instead. I'm Mark Chultra. I'm 17. I've been living in Kenya all my life. I am the fifth generation living in Kenya. My great-great-grandfather first arrived in Kenya in 1813. My name's Kaya. Um, I was born in the UK, but at the age of three months I came out to Kenya and I've lived here all since then on a farm in rural Kenya, up in the highlands, on the edge of the Rift Valley. Um, my name is Kennedy Otieno. I was born and raised in the western part of, 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 of Kenya. Uh, I'm Rivisha. I was born in Kenya and I've lived here all my life. I am in year 12 and at the age of 17. Initially, I first joined the Ghetto Classic and uh, Ghetto Classic also has given me a path to the National Youth Orchestra. I've been playing flute for five, five, six, five years. I come from a family of four. We're four boys. Yeah, I don't have a sister. I don't know why. I have four sisters and uh, three brothers. We are seven in the family, quite large. I have a twin sister, and um, in total we are five girls and two boys. We are a family of eight, a very big family indeed, very big. We are ten kids. Okay, we live in, I mean, in Korogocho. Korogocho is a slum in Nairobi. My dad is a casual labor. He just lost his job. So we had to go down and dig. My mom also did not lazy around. She just picked up for my dad. After my dad lost his job, she started selling, uh, she started selling, uh, uh, to talk about the vegetables at the red side so that she can manage the life. I first auditioned for the Orchestra, National Youth Orchestra of Kenya on the piano. I had never played an orchestral instrument before and I was lucky to get the chance to play percussion. It was an exciting experience because I had never played a percussion ex uh, instrument before and not even hit a drum to begin with. My first musical encounter was through music, singing. I love to sing, not the bathroom kind of singing, but um, just generally singing and just being able to express yourself vocally. Why did I begin playing flute? Uh, the time the, the, the auditions were called and uh, I looked up the list, they were looking for players, musical players. I hadn't, I hadn't done much of musical playing back then, I was, I was more of a singer. And uh, later in the orchestra, that's when I started learning about percussion and, and the details of percussion and, and, and playing percussion e extensively. I first encountered music at home. My older brother, Jacob, he's a, he's a pianist. So he used to teach me what he knew. Then the second time I encountered music was in Nairobi school in Form 1 when I enrolled. Then I was told they're going to have auditions in our school. So I was really excited. I was sort of like, hey, it's my first chance to actually join an orchestra. When it was my turn to audition, I was absolutely scared. I was literally shaking. And I entered. The hardest part wasn't the playing part, it was the talking part, because now I had to convince them that I deserve to be in the KNYO, then for me that was really hard. I did not audition the first time, but I watched them perform the very first time in August, and I'm like, wow, they just blew my mind away. So I auditioned the second time, that was sometime in November, and I got in. <laughs> The 
day of the audition was very nervous, I must say. Um, there was five judges and a video camera, and I've never done an interview like that before. I did not tell my parents I had audition until I got the feedback of the information that I had joined. I wanted to scream. I was actually at home and, oh God. I, it was just euphoric, you know, it was, you can't explain it. I remember we got the letters in the end of July. I got the letter that I joined. It was my other friends who had also made it, so we started shouting in the music room. We were really happy. It was like, wow, I'm in the National Youth Orchestra. It's like, this is the first time it's happening in Kenya and I'm actually part of it, so I was really happy. One of the major objectives in KNYO was that we make an impact not only in the orchestra but in our lives outside the orchestra. And this uh, is when I just sat down thinking, started thinking of how I could make someone's life better outside there. And the day of Ghetto Classics uh, arose. Ghetto Classics is a project, a classical music project based in the slums where we teach classical music. In Gorogocho, initially life is very hard. Kids get shot, the youth get shot by the policemen. You see, there is no job. I volunteered uh, as, a, as a percussion te teacher at Ghetto Classics and, 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 and so far it's, it's, it's been like a, a very memorable journey for me for Ghetto Classics in that when I went there there was no percussion teacher just yet and, and, and when I joined I, I think we had like one percussion student. Going to Gorgia is the hardest thing I ever do. Going there every Sunday is really hard because it's the second largest slum in Kenya. And it's really not safe. Even removing your own mobile phone from your pocket, you're really scared when you're walking there. One week cannot pass without I hearing a gunshot. So it is a terrifying environment for uh, the youth. The first times we went for Ghetto Classics, uh, being in the slums, the slums are uh, one of Kenya's, uh, one of Nairobi's biggest slums, it's called Korogosho. It wasn't a pleasant sight to see. Uh, most of us were thinking, like, is it, is, is it safe here? Uh, uh, what are we, go, uh, are we going to get students? Uh, are the students teachable? But, but just the, the, the warm welcome we receive and, 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 and the passion in their eyes, it just pushes you to come ever, ever, like each and every time. You forget about whatever else is, is outside there and you just focus on, on, on making them really better people. While we coming together, to discuss of uh, something like uh, robbing something or like thinking of uh, uh, negative things. We come together and play this music that brings and bolts our life together, making us better people in the society. Because when you get the life or try to compare the life of these kids playing in Korogocho music, you get that their life are very straight in that we are so disciplined, disciplined because that is the first rule that we are told in music. And we are always busy because that Sunday we are busy that Sunday, unlike the other kids who are like just stagnant there thinking of other things. It's a lot of fun because they, they have psych and for them they tell us it's a getaway from their problems. You must have something else besides education. They say, yeah, they have all those problems. They have money problems. They don't have parents, some of them. But they say as long as they get to play their music, they get another skill apart from what our 844 system is giving them, just the grades. They are really happy about it. I will now be focused in my life in that music keeps someone from the worldly thing. I'm a really proud teacher in that, by, uh, as we guys are speaking right now, one of my students way back in Ghetto Classics uh, was able to, 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 to audition for the National Youth Orchestra and, 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 and qualified to, to, to join the Youth Orchestra, which is also another major achievement for, for me as a, as, a, as a player and as a, uh, as a music teacher. So when I went for the first residential, I was like scared because I was like, these guys are from high background. Because I was like taking myself, a guy from a slam, meeting the guys from high backgrounds. I was afraid f at first. But I got this one thing different from these guys. In that, these guys, they never like looked down upon other people. And that thing really encouraged me. In the Kenwai, we have a, mix, a diversity of races. We have uh, Europeans, we have Asians, and we have the native Kenyans. 
it's so much fun because you know these are people you don't normally interact with all the time so you get to know these people and the stereotypes fade away once i joined it i found that the music is only half of it um the people i play it with are the most amazing people i've ever met getting to know everyone team building activities that helped to get to know the other students really helped everyone's different everyone's from a different walk of life um completely different backgrounds yet everyone uh, not a single person's left out everyone laughs around everyone has a great time these guys they never cared even if you are from the slum uh, even if you are from the high background you know you you break tribal um boundaries you break racial boundaries and having fun and just being able to appreciate people as they are not from where they're from or what they are doing or who their parents are or who they are that's that's one thing that I have learned how to appreciate at NY honestly being able to take somebody as they are not from any other perspective but as they are that's that's spectacular that's awesome they never like they never kept a line up of the rich and the poor they joined them together making up one family that is called the National Youth Orchestra in Kenya